Small crowd, I like it. <laughs> Josh, they had, you know, Penn State had some of the best rush ends in the in the Big Ten coming yep. into that game. How do you think you guys, as tackles, but also just the entire offensive line, handled that? Um, I think we handled it well. Uh, I think as tackles, um, me and Josh did uh, pretty decent. Um, still a lot of things to work on. Um, going against elite players, you're not going to fit them up every single time. Um, you're not going to... Uh, get them on the right outside pad tip and lock them up and squeeze them. Maybe one out of 15 times that they pass rush. But um, yeah, I think uh, the offensive line did uh, pretty well. It feels like right sometimes the, the Marvin touchdown, yeah. right, late in the game, that's a route, right, where he, you know that's he's got to get all the way across the field. That's going to take a little time yeah. to develop. What's And again, it felt like, okay, like you guys got to hold up there and you held up. Like just what's it like on a play like that when you know this is not – getting out of Kyle's hand right away, you've got to maintain uh, something. Yeah, um, I mean, we get the signal in, um, signaling it's a it's a long protection. Um, but just for me, it's mainly just holding my guy up so t Kyle can get the ball out and get it to the best wide receiver in the country. So um, uh, other than that, I really don't have anything else with that. Yeah. I mean, it's just long protection, hang in there. Um, even if you're not fitting up, like I said, perfectly, like just hang in there and push them by. Oh, Justin, you see uh, Kyle's over his hundred yards. Um, you guys can protect him against that as you make that pass rush. Yeah. What does that, that, that feel like for an offensive tackle? Um, it feels good. Um, <laughs> I still watch the film and um, aren't, I got a pass rush and I, I got beat, but I ran him by at 10, 11 yards. I still get frustrated with that stuff, but um, at the same time, I think it's it's gratifying um, because you know you go against JT, you go against Jack, you go against these pass rushers that are elite, and um, knowing that you're going to get the work every day, and then um, obviously just trying to get it done. You guys seem like you're getting pretty decent push up front. See stats sheet for 79 rushing yards. Did it feel like you guys had more? Uh. For for me, I'm not really looking at the rushing yards because I didn't know this that the if like Kyle takes a sack or if um, it's like a, a I don't know a backwards pass or something and Marv gets back that counts towards the rushing yards too. I didn't know that. I thought rushing yards was he hands it off to the running back and the running back goes. I didn't know that that was rushing That's yards. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that. But um, yeah, it, it's uh. Yeah, it did feel like more, but at the same time, like in those matchup games, like you're not gonna rush for 250 yards because you're playing against an elite defense. So, Josh, with the, with the rushing game, just sort of in general, Donovan was talking about this last week. And Coach Rocker was saying just like simplifying some things and maybe getting into some more plays where yeah. the pressure guys are most comfortable with. Yeah. How's that process going over the last few weeks? I think it's going good. Um, I, I think, and when a player says, "Man, I got, I got." I got this play down, like I can run it comfortably. I think that's the the key for the whole offensive line. Is like, all right, we know what we're doing. Like, let's just roll. And I think that's the, the main key for the offensive line. You guys uh, didn't right do. A, sorry, no, you're good. You're good. You guys didn't do a ton of the, the counter play last week, but Purdue, you ran a quick bit. You and Matt getting out there pulling yeah. the gutter. Yeah. So what's that like when you see those guys come in and you're going to get you out the space? Like that? Um, it's kind of cool, um, but at the same time, like I'm so locked in on like. All right, this counterplay. I, I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but um, gotta get around. I gotta, I gotta look for the second guy. Um, there's a lot of things going through my head. Like if, if Matt gets logged, I go around. I take the second guy. If, if Matt kicks him out, I go inside. I look for the second guy. Um, there could be a blitz where he's coming to the B gap. I gotta take him. So like, there's a lot of processing going through that. But at the snap of the ball, you just gotta render all that and then be like, all right, good, go. And that's really uh what i'm thinking through the play so um i know you guys do a bunch of different stuff in the run game I'm just like where, where does that play rank for you in terms of things you like to run the most because it does seem like you get better and better at it each time you guys play yeah um obviously i think all the run calls i like yeah. i mean i don't really have a particular one um but the counter plays are fun to get out and um show show your athleticism to uh basically tv so does every offensive lineman in the world like a run play better than a pass play? Um, I don't know. I think 
I mean, if you're talking about Joe Thomas, Joe Thomas, uh, he's a pretty good pass protector. I mean, he was a really good run blocker, but I think he liked pass protecting more, getting in his older years because he knew it was easier for him. Um, but I think a lot of offensive linemen and their mentality is we want to run the football and we want to run it hard. So. Is that because you're, you can be more aggressive in that? Yeah, I mean, if it's weird. It's a it's a weird mix with um, trying to be aggressive, run off the ball because you don't want to run off the ball, duck your head, and the guy spins you and beats you inside. So like, I, it's a weird um, balance that you have to have in the run game because you can't be off balance and you can't be too on balance where you're getting pushed back. So you you s seem to always smile when you talk about football when you come here and discuss this. Like how how much are you enjoying? the role that you're playing on this team this year? Uh, I enjoy it a lot. Um, I enjoy coming in here, seeing the guys, seeing the coaches. Um, just, uh, I think football in general makes my life a lot happier than, um, than uh, not having football in my life, so. Yeah. What's, I mean, everybody on this team matters, mm -hmm. right? But you're in a spot now where you are able and asked to contribute more than you were yeah. earlier in your career. Just What's that like as you're walking around in your life and you're a starter at Ohio State? Um, I think it's special. Um, uh, but at the same time, like, I can't get too big headed and, and be, oh my God, like, I'm a starter. I got to do this, this, and this. Like, it's, it's, I try to simplify it as best I can and try to, okay, this, this pass play, I'm pass blocking that guy. That's it. Like, I don't try to think about any other outside besides that. So. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, I think you always, like I said, you always want to be aggressive, but at the same time, you don't want to be too aggressive where you're off balance. Um, and I think uh, creating double teams is a good thing too when you're running um, like a zone scheme, counter scheme, whatever. Um, you create double teams online, you're going to get movement, and you're going to get that knockback to get to the second level. Josh, going up to Wisconsin, I get the jump around tradition. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of excited to see what this is all about. Yeah, I'm excited. I've uh, I've I've visited Wisconsin. Um, it was a great place, great atmosphere. Um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, see the jump around in the third quarter. Uh, I'm excited to see the start of the game. Um, I like away games. Um, silent count, I don't like, but <laughs> I, I got to deal with that. So, um, yeah. Were you there for an actual game Last couple questions. when you visited? Uh, no, I went when it was middle of winter and I, the, me and my dad were driving and it, uh, Madison was in between the two lakes mm -hmm. and we saw people ice fishing. It was, it was really cool. Yeah, of course, that. Dan's been, you know, he came this way. So yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You, never, you never really see people ice fishing like that and you're like, are they going to fall in? Like, yeah. that's what, that was what I was thinking. So. Hey, Josh, really quick, you know, just the last couple of games, especially with the last game, there were many instances where you could see the offensive line just coming off as one. Mm -hmm. I mean, how long have y'all worked at that? You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. you always work at that, but do yeah. you feel like something's really coming around with this group at this moment? Yeah, um, I think it was just, um, like Coach Fry said, I think simplifying a lot of things makes our lives easier. Because if you complicate things too much, you start overthinking, you start not rolling off the ball. Um, yeah, so I think what Coach Fry had done with the simplification of it um, was really good. Hey, Josh, can you talk about going silent? I'll, I'll go, go ahead. When, like, the communication factor, I know you talked about that earlier in the year. Like, mm -hmm. That's different on the road. It's different in a situation yeah. like this. Like, how much more confident are you that you guys have worked through some of those issues and, and can handle that in this environment? Yeah, uh, well, the start of the silent cadence was Notre Dame because we knew it was obviously going to be a loud 7.30 game. Um, that's when the first time I really had to like focus on it um, and it's um, quite it's actually easier when once you get the rhythm down and um, but at the same time like you can't have a rhythm to it where the defensive guy knows like what's yeah. what's coming so um, it's like I said I think it's a balance between that stuff so yeah how have you seen Kenyatta Jackson throw as a complete defensive end? Uh, Kenyatta He's got all the tools in the world to be a very special defensive end. Um, I think he's grown in reading, not offensive line stance, but reading the offensive formation. Okay, if he's lined up here, I know that he might do this, this, or this, so I gotta do this. I think like his 
development in his mind of the steps he's got to take um, has led him to play faster and more aggressive than I've seen Kenyatta play. All right, Josh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, thank you, man. Thank you.